how to develop a strong determination. Determination means how much of yourself will you put into making a goal a reality. Now you must have read a lot of stuff dealing with how to increase self-determination, heard tips and tactics, sure. But while they have a lot of good things out there, somehow you still can't really relate to them. You know, it really is inspiring to observe and watch a young athlete who is very determined. This kind of athlete can take failures and setbacks and adversity and just does not give up on getting that goal, which is usually, you know, getting to the next level of competition in sport. Now, to underscore the importance of determination, let me give you a quote. Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Quote, Calvin Coolidge, 30th President of the United States. So how do you develop a strong determination? Well, there's three things that have to be in place for a strong determination to blossom and power up an athlete to their success. One, a specific strong decision has to be made. Now, this is probably the easy part for most athletes. You hear it all the time when young people are asked what they want to do when they grow up. I want to be a varsity baseball player or D1 or, or whatever. Now, semi-serious young athletes, they really have no problem voicing this kind of a decision. And, and yes, a decision is necessary to start any journey, but it's not enough. Because you know, it's a fact that teens and preteen brains are about 80% formed. Some scientists say it's not done until their late 20s. And the part of the teen brain that's not yet fully developed is called the frontal lobe, which is a part of the brain that, that manages impulse control, judgment inside, and emotional control. They have a hard time connecting today's actions to tomorrow's goals. <laughs> this comes as no surprise to most parents and adults. In other words, Teens are very susceptible to being thrown off the track to achieving their goal, especially when they experience difficult emotions and adversity, right? You know this. So you can see why just making a decision is not enough to develop strong determination. You know, the kid makes a decision and then makes another one totally opposing that, you know, sometimes the very next day. And I know this is what drives parents mad. Now, to develop determination, you need more. Two. There has to be an emotional why that fuels the action. Dr. Viktor Frankl wrote a book about his experiences as a psychiatrist who barely survived World War II concentration camps. And the book is called Man's Search for Meaning. He tried to understand what was it that caused some men to suffer and survive through unspeakable horrors while other men just gave up and you know, some of them even tried to kill themselves to end their suffering. And he came to the conclusion that the difference was whether or not they had a reason why to survive. For example, those that believed they had family waiting for them somewhere, they showed superhuman determination to survive, while many who had no family left, they didn't. Athletes need to find their why and then regularly visit that in their mind in order to condition the mind to connecting their actions today to the emotional benefits of achieving their goal tomorrow. So a parent or coach could ask a child, why do you want to play varsity? Or why do you want to get a D1 scholarship? And then periodically remind the child of exactly how they responded. Hopefully, eventually, the athlete will be able to do this for themselves, but Given the teen brain, it's common for a parent to help bridge this gap up to a point. Now, one problem with this is when the child gives a vague, no benefit answer like, I want to reach my goal, or some other meaningless response. There's no motion, no emotion there. So it's up to the adult to help find something that triggers that emotional benefit for the kid. I want to play on varsity someday so, so that I can get the respect of my peers and feel proud of myself. Now that's a better answer. 
It supplies the why and will develop self-determination to get back up on that horse when an athlete falls off. The third thing, fears and internal conflicts, they must not be present, they need to be cleared. This is the biggie folks and it's the effects of that are so underestimated by coaches and parents. I operate with all of my athlete clients under this formula. Performance equals potential minus interference. And when talking about interference, we're referring to beliefs, programs, and values at the subconscious level of the mind that generally they cause fear. Anxiety, worry, tension, doubt, all that stuff. And clearing that for young athletes, that's what I do. That's what the Mental Toughness Academy is all about. And it's a huge segment that goes through everything I'm teaching in all these videos for you. Now, uh, from the outside, it might look like athletes are just like naturally gifted or, or you know, or, or, or maybe they don't have a determined attitude, naturally. Well, that is true for some. Everyone can learn how to be more self-determined. It's a skill, not a gift, and you increase it yourself. Nobody can do this for you. Everybody can be more courageous. Everyone can make mental habit changes that are in line with their goals. I help kids as young as seven years old do this. And the process is the same as working on and improving your physical skills through learning, effort, repetition. Build your determination. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.